السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome back to the next lecture of ISO 1705-2017 We have explained in the previous lecture impartiality and the purpose of impartiality which is very important to ensure the integrity of results because if there is no conflict of interest on lab activities and results so there will be no negative effect on the results and so our results will be accurate and reliable and that will provide higher confidence to the customer and also we have explained how to implement impartiality inside the lab but if you didn't know till now how to implement impartiality I will tell you in a simple steps or easy steps number one you just need to make SOP for identification analysis and the elimination of risks due to impartiality and all points of this SOB you can find in the previous lecture. Number two, you need to make commitment to impartiality or impartiality declaration and that shall be signed by, by all personnel inside the lab. And there will be specific one for the manager and other one for other personnel inside the lab. And then that analysis shall be reviewed in the management review every year. But if there is risk found due to impartiality during the year for any person the lab has to take action for this specific risk and in the previous lecture we have explained some of these risks you can go back to the previous lecture and listen carefully but now is confidentiality which is a new applied to this edition and requirement of confidentiality as the following first requirement for confidentiality the lab shall be responsible through legally enforceable commitment for all information obtained or created during lab activities performance and if the lab wanted to place some information related to this lab activity publicly available the lab shall inform the customer in advance except for information that the customer already makes them publicly available or when agreed between the lab and the customer. So, in this case, the lab shall make contract with the customer that the lab shall keep all, all information related to this customer confidential except for some informations that can provide higher confidence to other customers like results for performance of this method Second requirement, when the lab required by law to release some information about the customer, the customer shall be notified of the information provided unless the lab prohibited by law to do this. Third requirement, if there are information about the customer obtained from sources other than the customer, these informations also shall be confidential between the lab and the customer and the source shall be confidential to the lab and shall not be shared with the customer unless agreed with him and at the end of this requirement all personnel working inside the lab or from outside the lab like supplier like customer shall keep confidential all information obtained during lab activities performance my suggestions on how to implement confidentiality inside your lab the lab shall make contract with the customer for all mentioned requirements and if there is any change in the contract shall be accepted by both of them and also all personnel inside the lab or dealing with the lab like accreditation bodies like customer shall sign a confidentiality declaration with the lab that they will not share any information about lab activities I hope that these lectures will help you to improve your knowledge and see you inshallah in the next lecture about structural requirements السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته